I'm just not sure if the actual page had to be started or not. But Let me see if I can pull my good friend Notch in here. For good some, luck. Some good banter. He is a good banterer. What you doing? Question mark. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. This is AP Wine version two. <laughs> just kidding. I don't. I don't think I'm qualified for that. You definitely started a lot of buzz, and uh, I, you know. I. I think we actually increased the token price by like ten percent yesterday. Um, APW. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not not Olympus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Um, are you gonna post the announcement, or you want me to do it? Um, Can you? I guess I'm just doing something else at the moment, real quick. All right, I'll work on it. Thank you, thank you, boss man. Mute for a quick second. Set up here, folks. We I would say, Freddy, if you cannot get Notch, um, you could just leak a bunch of Alpha. I'm sure everyone will oh, that. <laughs> I'm going to pull up some <clears throat> sources, Alpha, potentially. Sources. I made it up. I could, um, I could go over what's been going on this week. Uh, uh, could talk about yeah, some, some new stuff coming up. Uh, I'll probably start... Ah, Jala, yes. Yay. Um, Jala Meda. What's up? Oh, good. good to be here. Good to have you. TBH. Guys, someone, someone help me seed stables into the Omi locker. It'll be fun. <laughs> No nine nining. Stop it. It's like a really <laughs> sad Thursday right now. I know. You're only allowed to nine nine the Pico bottom. That's it. You cannot divine that. I thought two hundred was the Pico bottom. <laughs> That's right. Second person. At the time. I remember seeing that that backing number and just being like, there is no way that it's ever going to drop below that. Markets like to go a lot higher than they should and go a lot lower than they should. Well, that's right. This, way. this is sad. Even with my announcement, only, only 31 people here. But you know what? You guys are 31 awesome people that Shreddy's going to leak some alpha to. So... Thank you for being here. The Alpha Leakor. It's part of my job. Is there something is there something special about this Thursday or that there wasn't gonna be a call or No, it's been on the schedule the whole time. Um I just think Thank people you. are busy with other stuff. There may be conflicting calls in, in the space that are driving other people's attention away. So they knew Wordle wasn't gonna be here. They knew. I thought Wordle was back. He went on vacation and He's, he's not back. Yeah, he has a personal. He has a personal thing he had to deal with. So ah. they sensed it. 
probably kick off in about three minutes. We'll wait for a couple more people. Yeah, let's, let's let them stream in. When three minutes, I'll tell you. I'll whitelist you, C Mill, for three minutes. Is concave going brazy at the moment? Is that what's happening? What servers are? See any live servers in my life? Oh yeah, there's there's like seventy people in a concave voice. So should we talk about bear chain? <laughs> Think so. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not today. Bear okay. Chain. We have bear we bear, bear chain pass, and we're bear happy for them. They are a partner. We love them. We love bear chain. We love the bears. <clears throat> Let me ping Shadow real quick. <laughs> um, let's talk about how we're going to degen on Vault. We definitely should talk about Vault. Um, Vault 1 is super cool. And, uh, you know, I I was having some, like, uh, some, someone said it, like, the hamster wheels of the audience are turning right now. Well, that that was my wheel squeaking. Um I was like talking out loud during that and thinking about some real degen plays, um, which uh, can't be used for Olympus, but maybe not financial advice you might be able to use. When are we going to make other DAOs spend their millions buying ohm? I don't know, Jex, do you know anybody from another DAO that would be willing to spend millions? <laughs> Got lots of li nice, juicy liquidity for them. That's one thing that would be nice to have Notch here to talk about. He has a lot of awesome ideas as to how to make DAOs uh, be incentivized to buy ohm. Yes. Well, I can't speak now, but I think there are a few. Yeah, I think there are DAOs that are trying to figure out how to help us. Or not help us, but like, you know have realized that Ohm is a valuable treasury asset and um, can certainly, are DAOs really DAOs? No, DAOs are just Discord servers. Um, but uh, there are definitely protocols trying to help further the, um, the narrative, the reserve currency narrative. One of them is, and I don't know, maybe Jala, you want to give a little primer on how incurred debt is going. That might be a good discussion because... You know, we've been we've been seeing a lot of people become uh, good candidates for that project. And that that's definitely one of those one of those ways that we're fulfilling our reserve currency narrative. Yeah, um, definitely. So um, things are really coming together. So development is going well. Um, um, there's a bunch of versions of the contract, but like one of them we're going to be using for Tokamak. So as you've seen, like the Geom Reactor, that Geom Reactor will actually use Incur Debt under the hood. So it will allow um, OMIs to deposit Geom. Uh, but then under the hood, they're, they're going to use Incur Debt to borrow OM against that Geom and LP with it. So um, it will still be, they'll be able to uh, disperse OM liquidity, but it will be the OMIs Geom the OMIs can get um, earned token rewards on top while helping other protocols get own liquidity. Um, so that contract is coming along. Um, and then we're also building out bridge to the contract just for partners and like uh, more generally to use the functionality so they can hold OM in their treasury. Um, and as that development has picked up, uh, we've like really started to ramp up, I guess you call it like the sales cycle. So I'm talking to a bunch of potential partners now um, about it and a lot of people like it clicks for them right it's like this solves a huge pain point for protocols where before if they wanted to have an OMLP they had to forego the rebases and they were getting like constantly diluted because right? we run LP bonds to avoid that dilution but 
for other protocols, that could be really expensive. So this solves the pain point for them. It allows them to hold home in their treasury, maintain governance power, uh, and also earn rebases. And they can either add those rebases to their LP, right, to uh, stave off the dilution or do whatever they see fit with it. So it's really attractive to partners and really helps push the, uh, you know, push forward OM as a real reserve asset for these mm. protocols. So yeah. I like to think of it as this is the end game. <laughs> it's over, people. We made it. It's over. You know that whole wag me thing we talk about? <laughs> it's coming. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, and I know that Jason al- always talks about like, you know, the automation of Olympus. Can we just pump the price before it's over? I can, yeah, we can We can see to that, maybe. I'll ask the devs to do something. Um, Jason always talks about, um, you know, automation of the protocol to a point where it would be, you know, less of a, less of a hands-on uh, solution and, and more of like something that you could just use as a protocol to, to get reserve. Um, and I think this is like, I mean, and, and look, I'm not saying that's we're anywhere near that. I think we're still well in the bootstrapping phase and this would be maybe, I don't know, you never know, five, eight years from now. Um, but that would be that would be a nice step towards there. Just having certain partners have access to that tool um, probably wouldn't, and that's why we we do don't make it permissionless because you know we want to have the say over that. But um, <laughs> Ohm, Ohm plus Toke is GG basically. Jala is a Toke maxi, so he he likes that one, but. Should I buy some Toke now then or Ohm? Buy both? <laughs> buy both. Um, but I would say buy Ohm. We're going to do financial advice on the show. <laughs> this, is, this is token network advice, okay? This is... <laughs> uh, how, I, I have a question um, for you, Jala. Like, how, how do you see, um, you know, Ohm deposits within Tokamak since since that vault is permissionless, like how do you see that jiving with our our uh, our protocol on the liquidity narrative? Um, you can't have protocol own liquidity ad infinitum if you want every protocol in the world to be partnered with Ohm, right? You can't right. own own liquidity, so. Like we own our liquidity, we maintain like a base level. We ensure liquid markets, right? We we like serve as passive buyers in the market to mm-hmm. absorb volatility. But the point isn't to own all the liquidity in the world. The point is to own a lot of liquidity and then not like pay, not rent it, right? But yep. if others are going to like take that liquidity and add it on their own, like that's great. Third third party liquidity isn't bad. It's paying for it in perpetuity that's bad. Yeah. Cool. Sounds pretty exciting. Um, should we... I can't talk about AP Wine again. No, I'm sorry. But I will release for you guys the recording that I had just so we can... I, I know that there was a lot in there and I want to also have you Lissy back uh and and talk about that again but um oh, we're let's, in now we're yeah, in yeah. Now. what's up omis um what proposals we got this week huh we i know jason was is going hard on some treasury allocations i don't know if you saw the the new taps so we should be getting uh our ethereum staked in a few places um that will be really nice to secure us some more revenue. Uh, word on CT that Pooper 2 might be around the corner. Can't I can't release anything there. Yeah, Alpha was always buy more ohm. That's that was like the original Alpha and it's never changed. Always has been. Um, clean a love letter. Clean a love letter. How are we feeling about that, huh? It, it's looking it's looking like it's it'll pass with Pretty, pretty, you know, pretty positive there. I don't, I didn't see a single no vote on that one. Is that an OIP or is that a, yeah, a it's RFP? OIP staged up. Mm, okay, we have we have um 
We have Ziggy waiting to come on stage. Sure. And let's bring him up. I think. My man Ziggy. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How's it going, my man? It's going good. I just wanted to know when is OHM gonna freaking blow? <laughs> you missed it, dude. We already did it. Ah, oh, sorry. No, um, let's do it again, dog. Do it again. Uh, so is your question about um, price? Or you're just wondering? Uh, price action. Yeah, we don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, we, I, don't, I don't. I don't talk about price. Uh, I don't make price predictions, but I just know that uh, continue to build on the core products, deliver, and hopefully the market recognizes. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay. we're doing a lot to bring extreme value to the protocol in ways mm -hmm. that you know maybe aren't that apparent, which we're trying to certainly solve um in the coming months we've been having a lot of discussions about that in community and in marketing mm -hmm. um you know i think the treasury dashboard was a good step okay, okay. showing everybody the revenue potential that's possible with olympus <coughs> um you know and a bigger treasury will mean a better backing for ohm and a more intrinsic i guess if i'm not going to call it price but if you want to talk intrinsic value um mm -hmm then you can, you know, you can look at maybe a liquid backing and then gain an intrinsic value from that. But um, yeah, I, I agree with Jala that price is not really at this moment and yeah. never really has been like a, a focus for us to maintain as long as the protocol is working as intended okay. then, then we're then we're really doing well and the, the medium to long term looks great. Uh, um, what's upcoming for the protocol? Well, for one, uh, incur debt is big. So inter, inter DAO, um, DAO to DAO, I guess. So DAO to Olympus, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Loans on, yeah. on so, so like on-demand liquidity. Um, okay. Another thing would be to look forward to is um, new internal bond structures. So, you know, there will be longer term bonds. There will be bonds with more capacity. Uh, we can do, you know, bonds of, of varying types, and that'll help to drive consistent revenue to the protocol, and also keep people, you know, interested and in, in staked. Um, trying to, what else can we highlight? That's that's really good coming up. Um, Doge bonds, Doge bonds, Cardano. Cardano. Um, that sounds quite interesting. <laughs> I. Uh, I will, you know, I, and then uh, there's something that I, and I, I cannot speak about yet, but that has been cooking in the back of Olympus. Come on, now. come on, come on, spill it in, spill it in. No, I can't, I can't possibly, I can't possibly. Zeus will. Come on, Trinity boy. Might me from, from a, a top Olympus. But um, all I'm saying is that we are, uh, you know, planning to, to map out a, a very, I mean, Olympus 12 was the beginning of, of us coming together and figuring out a plan forward, but, um, yeah. there's, <laughs> I'll stop right there. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot that we're going to roll out in the next couple of months, um, from the Olympus core team that will make okay. a lot of sense as to what the, the new direction is. I would just say that like the Zeus's bond forward approach is, um, <clears throat> like a really positive outlook for us you want to take what yeah. makes olympus great and just make it make better. It out. yeah yeah i see i see and then you know one trillion market cap it's easy as that it's a price break. <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks that's all keep giving to price we lost someone who was who was waiting on stage here waiting to come up who was it Come back. I'm from the UK, by the way, guys. Oh, how, how is the weather? Atrocious. Atrocious. <laughs> Today we had snow, rain, and sunshine in one day. You explain that to me. 
Someone, I'm sorry, but someone said, how are your teeth? And they're probably from America. Um, Our UK brothers. <clears throat> um, yeah, man. Uh, okay. Guys, come on. They they have they have dental care in the UK. Um, we have free dental care, free health care. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, let's see what do we got on the docket. Someone shared the Tracer DAO. Um, Tracer DAO OIP in the chat. I haven't had a chance to really highlight that yet um, in a marketing sense, but that's also coming up. Uh, interested to talk to those guys about perpetuals and and we're going to try to try to get them on maybe next week um cuz it's a little late in the week now to to host an AMA with them but I'm definitely interested to see what they are doing what's the plan with proteus going forward jalas get, give us give us the insight what are we doing with old pro proteus so we recently launched Everyone knows this on Optimism. It's a pretty solid, solid yield there um, on ZipSwap. Um, working very hard to try to figure out how to get um, onto Terra right now because there's a bunch of protocols lined up to work with us there. So um, given that it's a non-EVM chain, I had to bring on some other dev resources. Um, but we're working very closely with Terra Luna Foundation uh, to get Geome on there via the Wormhole Bridge. Um, and we'll hopefully uh, work by setting up some like nice dual rewards and potentially triple, quadruple reward programs there uh, with a bunch of the protocols. Um, that's the big thing. Also Solana as well, um, similar like Ross chain. So looking at that as well. Uh, and then exploring other chains as well, but also at the same time, making sure that we evaluate the efficacy of the program so that we're not just using like um, emissions for nothing. So like constantly evaluating um, how effective the emissions are and whether we should mm -hmm. like lower rewards, increase rewards on certain pools uh, and like uh, uh, continuing to uh, also just find OM integrations like, across the chain. So adding OM as collateral on various lending platforms is a big one. Uh, and uh, you know other use cases like some derivatives, um, like Dopex Jones, finding those on other on other chains as well. Have we thought about um, using Proteus to incentivize? Like, have we talked to the AP Wine people at all about incentivizing the liquidity within the AP Wine model, or is that kind of out of the out we, of the scope? Yeah, we thought about. It. I think it's a little bit out of the scope. Probably would need to be a separate. Like, it's not. It's not um, under the mandate of Proteus. Um, I could hear an argument to the, to the contrary, but um, not something I think like the Proteus like you know group would do unilaterally. But fair question. Yes, yes. Who's tagged me? Won't talk about AP wine right now. C mail. Didn't you have a? I, I don't. I'm I'm afraid for you. Didn't you lose? something yesterday didn't you make a bad deal <laughs> yeah all, I, I get, all learning experience right <laughs> um, anyone who's listening who's gonna try ap wine i will caution you not to make the same mistakes email did um do not trade your pt token um <laughs> like you're supposed to trade your future yield token not your principal token so if you trade your principal token and then you end up doing any kind of looping or any other stuff um you end up basically shooting yourself in the foot and losing half of your stack. So um, it's not it's not foolproof. So just be careful and go slow. <laughs> well, you, you yes. can sell either token, but make sure the numbers make sense. <laughs> yeah, there, there's this little tiny like eight point font that says price impact. And if it says 50 percent, understand what you're what you're agreeing to there. Uh, RCP came on stage. How's it going, my friend? How are you? Hey, guys. How you doing? Uh, I have a question that Shreddy, you answered on Agora Spaces mm. uh, that I think would be good. Uh, also, cough, cough, Agora Spaces about an hour and a half from now on Twitter, so yeah. check that out. Mm -hmm. um, but my question is, as a loyal 
long-term geom holder. What should I be doing with my geom? What can I do or what should I do? Let's say a moderately conservative geom holder. What should I be doing with it? Nothing, something. Enjoy it in good health. <laughs> Enjoying it with cheese and wine. My, so my opinion would be tokamak would just be my opinion is depositing it within that vault it's ultra conservative and it sounds like it's going to go to empower our movements into exploring um, incurred debt with other with other DAOs. so that seems to be a good place to support the the general ecosystem and, and maintain some safety and avoid impermanent loss yeah i like that one so just to explain also so in addition to helping the protocol have more liquidity like for partners for incurred debt. The more geom that's deposited in that reactor, the more the higher the APR is on the um, toke side. And the DAO is the largest depositor into that uh, on the on the in the toke side of the ohm reactor. So the more geom there is, the high the more the more toke the DAO earns. And the more and the more toke anyone can earn for putting toke in that reactor. So they balance each other out. So then the more toke the DAO can put the reactor, the higher the APR is on the geom side. So it's a nice, a nice uh, circle. Bullish. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And, you know, there's... We've outlined that in the utility um, section on the, uh, on the Treasury Dash. There's a bunch of things that you can, you can do with your geom. Um, yeah, there's always, actually... They, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like within the 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 new updated wallet management dash, the on the Proteus tab and the Treasury dashboard, and then also within here, you can go to the bot channel and type question utility. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pretty awesome um, markdown on there that outlines a bunch of different options. So. Look at look at Zeus just listening to us right now. Get up, get up here, dude. He's just in the crowd. Um, just, just wants to blend in. He just, yeah, yeah he's, he's just like all of us, okay, people? Um, but yeah, I, I mean, besides, uh, you know, I would also say be wary with some of the stuff because not all of it is just like yield bearing. So if you're interested in the DOPEX ecosystem, um, just be, you know, be sure that you know what you're getting yourself into with options protocols, um, you know, but uh, there, there is a ton. Uh, and the, yeah, the wallet manager does uh, does give you a little bit, a little taste of that as well. Zeus needs to come up here and excite everyone. Zeus, because we're super boring. Le How leak as much you. alpha as you can. How dare you? We're not Please. doing enough. <laughs> People want to know about Pooper too. Drop that knowledge. I think he's he's get he's getting his DJ equipment set up, so we can't we can't distract him. Anyone else want to come out with questions? This is a dull crowd. We need Notch here to liven people up with some jokes. Yeah, I Notch. Some, I have some Notch. spice. I have some spice. We should talk about. Okay, go for about it. Some of the, about some of these. I, don't know, I think people should examine the the OIPs we have up. We kind of brushed over those. We can go back to it. We definitely should. With Klima, yeah. with Klima and uh, and Tracer. What do we with think about the trees? Huh. Let's, about, what do we What do we want to start with? We hate Klima? the trees. We <laughs> hate the trees. Hate the trees. More more carbon credits, please. Um. Yeah. Let's start with Klima. So. Um, I just want people to, I think there's arguments on both sides, I want people to understand, right? So I think what Klima is asking that we take some of our Klima and, it, and as a show of good a support or good faith to the protocol um, to be one of the first partners to burn Klima as a way to demonstrate like burning of like carbon credits to offset uh, and to show that that's a possibility for others, whether that's corporates or other protocols to offset their carbon footprint. Um, this could be great because it could demonstrate like the value for Klima. So, um, and on the one hand, we would be burning tokens, right, that literally have value, right. Um, on the other hand, it could be a good like proof of concept and, and enhance the value of Klima long term. But I want people to like recognize what is being asked and evaluate it properly. 
Yeah. Because I don't, want, I don't want to be brushed over. I did the math, or rather, I copied Jason's homework. And um, if we do the 33333K um, uh, retirement of credits, it'll be like decades of what we've already put out there. So um, imagine what. And, you know, we, we, we own a, a large portion of the Klima supply, but imagine if, you know, uh, in, my, in my mind, this is big for like retail, right? Like companies, you, if, you, if you could bring on enough car, the, the another, another issue is that you need to bring carbon on chain. So that's something that I think Klima is trying to work on, um, is like getting, getting the, right, the right carbon on chain um, and getting a, a, you know, thick enough liquidity supply. But once you can do that, and then you can, you know, will serve as an example. There's other protocols that are serving as an example. Um, you can make this like an easy, easy way for, you know, carbon credits to be retired. And I, it, I, I supported it. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing too much opposition on that one at all. I wasn't trying to drum up opposition. I just wanted to make, make people aware of what we're being asked. Wait, we're not supposed to be confrontational on <laughs> only every every other week <laughs> only every other week okay that's 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 next week um no but yeah i really i think it's a good thing um can i what do you, john what do you want me to repeat the whole thing just someone in the chat give him a play-by-play -play. um about carbon credits from Klima. uh I think he means what I said about bringing them on chain. Um, how is it going to affect price? I mean, I don't want to talk about price, so I don't know. Um, I can't speak to Klima's, Klima's price action either. Um, yeah, do we want to talk about Tracer? Um, sure. I think that one's more straightforward, but um, that would have, like, uh, they want to build... Um, uh, a UI uh, that would allow people to use GeoMass Collateral uh, for perps. Um, and they would build it for us. It would not be hosted like by the, the Olympus UI, but as a separate site. I think I still need a little more clarity on that, though. Like, you know? Yes. Like, are so, we going to own that? Are they going to own it? So I what? People, I think we got to press on that in the... I like I like the tracer team. We just got to press on that and the like. Who where, ultimately who controls it? Like yeah, who's responsible for it? I want clarity on this. I need to know. Um, I think what I have worked out with the team so far is that originally it was supposed to be a UI situation on our landing page, and I said, you know, that's probably a pretty bad idea considering. Uh, just what happened with you know three three together, um, and 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 a and a you know just the optics are not right. So uh, <laughs> why do we want UTIs? Um, so I went to them, and in their original request for comment, they had you know slipped in that they wanted to have it come onto the front, and I was like, you know, this is kind of opening up Pandora's box here. If if we give it to um, Tracer, you know, <laughs> why wouldn't other people want to come on and, and propose to be on the front end? And I think that's just a dangerous game for us to be playing, especially if we want to be like, you know, kind of like, I guess agnostic is not even the right term, but um, we want to play nice regulatorily and, and you know, be, be secure there. Um, but yeah, I, I worked out with them. So basically what we'll have is a subdomain of Olympus with Olympus branding that that will be hosted on. So it won't be it won't be on the front end, but it will look the same. Um, it just won't like, you know, it'll have the same branding and, and everything, but it won't be uh, something that you immediately come across, basically. But I I in and I think their OIP reflects that, but you know. More utility for Ohm. Always better. Z Z Z Z. Yeah. 
And then Grants also submitted an OIP yesterday for a renewal. So happy to see the continuation of that program. I know that Incubator is also has geared up or is gearing up for a renewal. So um, say. Oh, yes. That's another one that just went up. Yeah. I'd say they deserve it. But you will all decide. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get notch up here. We'll have we'll have some comedy for about 30 minutes. Notch told me that he and I, I he had once um audition for a very famous American comedy TV show, um, which you would all know. And he did not get the part, so you, you do not know him. It was Glee, yes. <laughs> George Costanza. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. Uh, Does anyone have any insights on V3 liquidity? Yeah, I was just, just going to ask about that. Insights on B3 liquidity, yes. Um, I'm not sure if we talked about this last week, uh, but um, in the end, we are not going to move to V3 liquidity now. We are, um, I believe that there was another, there was an amendment to the OIP. I'm looking for uh, that we are going to move uh, liquidity over from Sushi to Uniswap. Um, it's the, it's uh, uh, Uniswap V2 not v3 um that is uh it's a bunch of a bunch of factors that went into the determination to do that uh for now um but it has to do with some of the stuff that's being worked on like on the core side in terms of like some of the new infrastructure uh, but in the meantime we wanted to move over from sushi to uni uh where um sushi takes like one sixth of the fees on every trade so for now, uh, we are going to move over uh, to Uniswap, and I think it should help with some routing as well. It would be better to push through Arikas or G. Those are, those are for V3, the question there, but um, we're not doing V3 for now. Yeah. I think it was like a, isn't there a small V3 position, but it's like not, not the full thing? Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, there's a Frax, there's a Frax, um, home Frax pull on B3. Got my man Notch up here. Man of the year. What's going on, dude? Okay, yeah. fine. Ignore me. He doesn't want to talk to us. I just realized I'm muted. I'm just like <laughs> talking to myself. That's embarrassing. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Oh, no, it was good. I met with uh, two different uh, groups that were incubating, which were really excited. Well, okay, when I say we're incubating, like, OMIs have to tell us that we're going to incubate them, but I think we're going to incubate them. Mm -hmm. um, so really, really good stuff. And then we've got, um, so, so look for two, two new uh, incubator uh, deals, hopefully going to come through. So we like that. Um, See, when you thought that we were sitting on our hands, we would never do that. Uh, and then what else did we do uh, that was really cool? Oh, uh, oh, well, no, I can't share that. Let's just say that that we're not done with the treasury. Secretive today. We're, we're not done with the treasury. Let's just say that. There's more, but we can't say it. <laughs> There's more coming. And Come on, like, no, there's, go there's, ahead, there's, share it. There's 75 people listening. These 75 people are the last people that are hanging out in our Discord and you're not going to give them the alpha? Well, I see Zeus is in the chat, so I don't... Like, is that the real Zeus? I don't know. I can't tell. I, it's, uh, it's hard to tell anymore. Uh, let me see. Is got he a, friends? Got, just is he FYI, friends we've got me? a few people joining the stage. So. Oh, oh, yeah, he is. Hey. Not look, just trying to flex. Not just the real flex. Zeus. Hey, hey, flex Zeus is my friend. friend. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm ready. Let like, let, when are we talking to our buddy? Let's let's do let's do a little little deal action. Let's get some deal action going. 
who's what our are, is this our buddy or your buddy? I mean, it's our <laughs> collective buddy. Everybody knows him. He's famous in in a certain world. Uh, oh, is, oh, it's Danny. Uh, <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo. Um, no, it's there's so many like really awesome things going on behind the scenes, just yeah. deal wise. We can't wait to show you all of the. Like just stuff that Jala is working on and stuff that the incubator team is working on and Sporos. We have, we're starting our first cohort. Uh, there's so much happening. It's like yeah. insane. It really is insane. Um, watch, watch for announcements soon. There, there'll be a lot. Um, yeah. I brought Nuker on stage. I'm going to give him, give him the floor for a second. Galliverse. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much, guys. I, I hate to jump in on your call, but I just joined the Discord this morning. Nice. Um, Welcome. I, I feel well, thanks. I bought Ohm about a year ago. And I Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, right. You're doing great. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I bought it on Gate.io, and now I'm getting booted off Gate.io. Uh, uh, now, when I bought Ohm, I, I was just totally distracted by so many things I was into at the time. I didn't really do anything that I was supposed to do, I'm finding out now, like convert over to V2 from V1. No, no worries. Yeah, that's okay. That's easy. So, so I mean, I, I, I hate to jump in on, on the call being a, brand, a newbie for, per se, but I, I how should I say this quickly? I took the uh, own that I had uh -huh. And I transferred it over to my MetaMask wallet. And what I did was I had gotten some guidance from somebody else. I took the contract address off of Coin CoinGecko. I created a folder in MetaMask and I trans transferred it over. Now I go to MetaMask and it says zero. Yeah. So what's happening there is that MetaMask, all it's going to do is it's going to look for what are the tokens that it knows it should remember. It doesn't, it's not smart enough to actually check that. There's a couple great websites you can do to kind of check your wallet at any time. I'm a fan of Zapper. Some other people like another one called DBank. And what it'll do is it'll say, okay, of all of the different contracts that exist within your wallet, you go to this website and it'll show you everything that's in there and you know how much and it uses whatever price oracles that they use. Now, I just want to make sure for a second though, because you said you bought V1 ohm, right? And then obviously we went to V2 and right. everybody, everybody remembers that the V2 transition was super smooth. So I want to make sure you have a good yeah. experience. So you go to the Olympus website and you'll have the ability to, to merge. One thing that's really nice though is that you can convert your ohm into something that's called Geom. Have you heard about Geom? Uh, yes, I saw it mentioned on the site. Okay. I, I did this morning. I went onto the the site uh -huh. and it said connect to your MetaMask wallet. Yep. And I said connect and it just did nothing. Okay. So are you doing this from your phone or from your browser? Uh, from my PC browser. PC browser. Okay. So sometimes when that happens, you got to make sure that you're connected to the Ethereum mainnet. I know we have other, you know, Olympus is on other networks, but you want to make sure that you're on the Ethereum mainnet when you're connecting. Yeah. And then if you are on the Ethereum mainnet when you're connecting, just try refreshing. That still doesn't work. What you may want to do is just uninstall MetaMask. Make sure you get your key first, though. Okay, make sure you have your key written and stored in a safe place and you never tell anybody about it, not even your kids. And then what you do is you put it back in and reinstall MetaMask because it could be just a weird browser issue and you don't want that to have a problem. But once you actually do connect to the website, you can convert. And then one of the benefits of Geom, which I really like, on top of being able to vote in governance, which everybody should do because it's very important for the future of the protocol, is that <clears throat> you should also uh, enjoy the fact that now, whether you're on this chain or maybe you want to move it over to another chain, you can farm it somewhere else, you can have it in, uh, you know, uh, on other things like Tokamak or any of these other places. Um, but you're still going to earn your rebases as long as you're wrapped in Geom. And then some people tell me, because I'm not a tax expert, and I would never claim to be, but some yeah. people tell me that if it's uh, wrapped in Geom and everything happens in the wrapper, which 
just to un unwrap that for a second, is the price of ohm multiplied by the index that you see on the website. So you won't see the number of G ohm going up, but the value of the G ohm will increase over time. And that's because it's taking all your rebases in, right? And it's growing, right? The price of one G ohm, right? If you bought one ohm on day one, so Zeus wakes up in the morning and he says, I'm going to start Olympus today, right? And he pushes the button. That's exactly how it happened. That's the origin story of Olympus. Mm -hmm. He woke up one day and pushed a button. It was and already he, there. It was, it was already there. there. It's true. So, so he pushes the button, right? He yep. says, okay, this is, this is Olympus, this is Ohm, and it's going to rebase, okay? If you would count every single rebase that's ever happened from day one, if you bought, that's what the index is. So it just takes a multiplier of the index times the price of ohm, and now you get the price of geom. Um, it's just more efficient, and so that's what we recommend everybody use. Okay, very good. Just, I hope that was helpful. Yeah, just want to let him know that I think he might have to do the first migration before even anything would show up in the wallet. That's what that is. What we I'm actually, if, if you, uh, if one of our Sherpas, we have uh, in the it's chat, it's called the Mount Olympus mm -hmm. chat. Um, so it, one of them maybe reaches out. We actually have a little guide that we have for this to make your life a little easier. Um, feel free to follow the, the guide if it sounds like I'm talking a mile a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Geom. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're. Let me ask you a question. What made you take so long to join the server? We're pretty friendly around here. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't know about it till I started looking around this morning, and I saw Discord, and I said, "Oh." I'm on plenty of channels in Discord. I should join that one too. There you go. Well, make sure you check out the Treasury dashboard because that'll tell you a lot about what you're investing in and just all the assets and the strategies and how much money that we're able to 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 kind of grow the protocol on a regular basis to kind of achieve this this kind of vision for for the future of DeFi. So. Um, Definitely excited to have you in the Discord. We're pretty friendly. Uh, you know, ask away in questions and uh, general and policy, and definitely get involved. Hey, yeah, uh, definitely. You should check out. Um, there's a Sherpa section in the DAO for new new Omis and new Omis to the DAO and uh, to the Discord. They can help you walk you through some of this stuff. You still have that. Um, yep. Or well, hey. Um, I just wanted to jump in and let you know, Nuker, I created a private thread for you under the questions channel. Um, you can head over there, you can talk to us um, privately, and we can sort of help walk you through it. What a good man. Drew Drew is also one of our Sherpas. So. Stand-up guy. Stand-up uh, guy. Awesome. And I was going to say, I was gonna say when you first joined, you said you didn't want to interrupt our call. This is your call. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it literally says community call, so... Communism call, yes. There's actually no other hands up, so like you can hang out as long as you want. If you have other questions, I mean, the founder's in the chat too. I don't know if he wants to make an appearance, but by all means, I mean, ask away. Yeah, yeah no, I I bought it about a year ago. Uh, unfortunately, I bought it, you know, I bought like one of them, like, I think it was a, like a thousand bucks, and obviously it's down, way down. <laughs> so when I... You know, I was going to give up on it, and I said, you know, based on some other information I had heard, they said, well, yeah, you should just hold on to it, because you never know what's going to happen in the future, and you may be able to get some pretty good APYs or, or whatever. So I did. I I kept it, and, uh, you know, anything I can learn from you guys to try to... Um, <laughs> try to re regain some of that or maybe even well, a little more money. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this. So what's interesting about Ohm is because you're earning all these rebases, you can't look at the price of the token on a chart and actually correctly chart the value of where you're at. Now, you know, because you bought one Ohm and you know what you paid for it, you know what yeah. it's worth. But the point is that that's why Geom is a little better to track because price of geom is going to be reflective of the index, right? So it's going to count all your rebases. Because what's happening is that, you know, as ohm is inflating its supply and deflating in price, um, 
you're getting more ohm. So your APY is in terms of ohm, right? It's not in terms of dollars. It's in terms of yeah. ohms. You're earning more ohm. But if you look at the market cap, what I used to do is I, I had a chart back before geom where what I would do is I would just take a look at the market cap of ohm and that's how I would measure price. Because for me, I would know in my head, okay, I got in when we were at X market cap, right? And so that... I could see if we're trading premium or not to when I first got in. Obviously, it's more sophisticated now, uh, but that's how I started. Everybody starts somewhere. Right, right. Well, I, I really appreciate you guys uh, helping me out here and, uh, and welcoming me in, into the fold. And I think I'm more stay. <laughs> hey, we do uh, we do some education stuff about how to utilize your geom, Shreddy and I, and we always have guests from other protocols talking about farming and other stuff. So if you see events like this, um, like we had one yesterday with something called AP Wine, and you know, there's all kinds of stuff out there. So if you see events, um, you know, take a listen. It might be interesting for you. Well, yeah, I like to do that because I'm, I have done no farming at all, and I'd like to learn about it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome aboard. Well, thank Cheers. you so much. No, our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Someone's at the door. It's a beautiful wind chime. <laughs> it's, my, it's my ring system. Did I work for the Jehovah's Witnesses? No, I didn't, Z. <laughs> he's, he's heard them all. <laughs> Apparently, that was very slick. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've like been in, I've like pitched my whole life. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Notch is my old grade school teacher. I, I think you're older than me, Drew. I don't know. You might be the same. <laughs> uh, tax advice, no need to pay that. Yeah, no. You no got to pay your pay. taxes. Unless okay. you're in a place that doesn't have taxes. That's great. Notch is Danny confirmed. Yes, I'm using a voice changer. Funds are safe. -oo. All right. Awesome. Uh, so, ooh, you know what I never get to do that I always want to do? What? Tell us. I, we never get to talk about markets. Ooh. Can we talk about ooh. markets? Like, we never Notch's get to talk about markets. Notch's market corner? You know what I feel like, right? Because, like, I mean, I feel like we're, it's, it's a really interesting place in markets right now. Because... You had Bitcoin that was bumping up against this thing called the supply line, right? And what happened, right? So it tested the supply line. It failed. We saw that yesterday. So it needed to break about 48,000. It kind of played around there for two days and failed. Okay. So now it's trading in this kind of channel again, and it's crabbing, kind of needs to figure out what it wants to do, right? Um, and you saw Ohm pull back a bit, and today it's actually up, which is a sign, like a pretty good sign of strength to me that we're up on a down day. Um, you know, which is actually the opposite of what we had been doing in the past. There were some days where we would see the price of Ohm go down, even though the market was going up. So I think what what's happening here, and you know, this is just my own observations, is that I think what's happening is that people are looking at the Treasury dashboard and they're finally seeing what it is that Ohm is doing with all these assets. Um, and they're starting to get it. I mean, Bitcoin's down, you know, to 45,771, which is still great. I mean, to me, anything above 44,4 is great. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ohm is up 1.37% today. We're up 46 cents. Um, we've had a hell of a month. Um, you know, we're trading at a really nice level i think this is really excellent um so really happy are you saying we should buy a billion dollars worth of bitcoin back to treasury i mean <laughs> well that would be an interesting trade considering we probably would need to otc <laughs> and i don't know anybody that has a billion to do that oh, I um know, i know one founder yeah um I actually, I think that I think that our treasury, like JSON and and the allocators and and the rest of the folks over there, have done a good job at just really making the the treasury more optimized, yeah, um, nicely diversified and staked, and lots of new allocators that came out last week. Um, mm -hmm. so that's yeah, we had uh, Rocket Pool, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I wonder, did those go to Snapshot Pass? I know Rocket Pool and Lido. With the Snap. I don't know. I don't know if it's still up or not. But I mean, that's enormous. The fact that we're going to get Rocket Pool. I mean, it's it's one of the deepest liquidity pools on yep, <laughs> on, on the market. And obviously, Tetra basically like f willed it into existence with his voting power that it's going to be an epic pool on Curve. So there's just so much there. I mean, I mean, high five to the Orca. 
kind of knows what he's doing. Um, so yeah, so it looks like we'll be able to earn a little bit of yield there. Um, say a little bit, I'm probably talking about millions of dollars, <laughs> which I always find funny when you're talking about a giant treasury, you say a little bit and it's millions so of dollars, but it really so is. Bit here and there. Yeah. And then you look at the broader market. I mean, the spy rolled over today. Uh, you know, markets rolled over, even though it looks like we might be headed for peace, which is wonderful. Um, the ruble's back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 an interesting market right now. Definitely interesting. So definitely Rock, feels did good. You, did you do stand up before getting into finance, or did you? <laughs> no, no, no. Just everybody usually just laughs at me like a lot. Like they just look at me and course, they just start laughing after. and pointing. And well, what well what precipitated you like auditioning for that comedy role? I may have I may have leaked something from you, Notch. Huh. Oh, oh God! Yeah, I didn't say. No, it was like a dare. You didn't say which role. You just it was a dare. You auditioned auditioned for a very famous role. I did. Yeah, I just speculated that it was George Costanza because that's just how I picture you. (laughs) Negative, but it was The Office. Yeah, I I just show. It was just random. Like I just they were doing it, and I was like, oh, haha! I'll just show up. It'll be funny because like other people. It was a different character. No, it was. well, okay, so like I guess I've never done anything like this before, and I'd never like acted or anything in my life. But like, <clears throat> so the way I guess it worked on this show, which was The Office, was you go in there and they don't like tell you the name of the character you're auditioning for. They give you like some background. I'm assuming it was for um, what's his name, the guy that uh, he he just Dwight. he's the guy. No, not Dwight. No, the other guy. <laughs> uh, the the what's his name? The no, 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 no. The HR guy. What's his name? Toby. Toby. Yeah, I think it was for Toby because like, I, I usually have pretty dry humor. And so I don't know. They basically said they were looking for somebody who's just like kind of like deadpans really well. And I, I don't know. I just like went in there. I, I made it to like, I made it pretty far. Um, and I actually saw one of the guys there that ended up on the show. Um, I saw the... <sighs> What's his name? The the big guy who's always does the goofy laugh. I oh, uh, Kevin Brian Baumgartner. Yeah, I, I think that's the wow. name. Yeah, I saw him. What a tight pull. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've never done anything like that before. Like I've met plenty of famous people before, but like not like you know, it's not where I was like competing for their job. It would just be like happenstance because those who know me, like I pretty much grew up in Miami, so you just randomly meet people here. Yeah. One time I saw Floyd Mayweather in a motorcycle gang. Sort of oh, crazy. yeah? He was riding bitch on a moped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny story. Um, anybody remember Chad Ochocinco? You remember that guy? Yeah, Chad Johnson? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So, uh, my buddy had him as a client. And um, so, I meet him one day and I go in there and I go to shake his hand. And um, I don't know if this is a thing or this is like an ego thing, but he goes to shake my hand, right? And I mean, he's pretty tall. He's like, I don't know, six, five. Six, I don't know. He, he's a tall dude. He's really long. He's one of those like long, lanky guys, right? Um, he goes to shake my hand. And, you know, I'm like, hey, it's Chad Ochocinco. This guy has friggin' bear paws as hands, right? And I go to shake his hand and it's like literally dead fish. Like, I remember I, I went to go uh-huh. shake his hand and... It was like I was, I was like, it was like I was shaking like a lifeless body, like just, it was it was weird, like uh, to the point where I looked at his hand and I looked at him, and then afterwards I was like, hey man, like what's up with Chad? Like I go to shake his hand and he just like I don't know, like I thought it was disrespectful. He's like, no no no, everybody tries to shake his hand so hard that he could risk injury, so he just limp wrists everybody and let them got go. It, dude. I'm like, that, that is so smart. I never thought about that. Could you imagine? Thinking that deeply about it. Dude. I mean, look, I think a guy who changes his last name to his jersey number already is thinking, you know, way ahead of everybody else because obviously that's the most intelligent thing ever to do. But limp wristing whenever you meet anybody, yeah. I mean, come on. Let me tell you. Let me what tell a guy. You Let me tell you about another handshake. Uh-oh. One time. I met the OG Shaquille O'Neal. Okay? Yeah, he's a tall, he's, he's a tall he's dude. He's a big dude. I Shaquille know, I O'Neal, him. I don't know if you know, and you could probably tell. Hands, I mean, you could you could see it. He'll, he'll, he'll palm They're your stupid. Balls. He'll palm your face. Like yeah, it's I was, stupid. I shook his Who hand. Was I, was, I 
I uh, yeah, I met him at a some like you know he's a DJ, DJ Diesel, right? In his spare time, mm. so I was okay. at a music conference. Um, <laughs> so Let's see, start, start talking about feet. <laughs> I died. Shaquille O'Neal. I think he wears like a size twenty or something. Um, yeah. But he's got to get custom shoes. But um, yeah, I shook his hand, and I swear to God, he, he yeah, he probably could have grabbed my whole entire head and picked me up, yeah. like with, just with one hand. I got I got conned by him when I was a kid. So like I grew, I moved to Orlando for like a year when I was a kid, and this was when the Orlando Magic were like big shit. You had like Penny Hardaway, you had Horace Grant, you had uh what was his name i mean he had shack obviously and then you had uh gosh he was like incredible oh, scott skiles mm. and um so they had a basketball camp right and you know i was like this is going to be the most lit basketball camp ever and they had those guys they're like yeah we're going to be there right none of them were there it was a one-day camp none of them were there I, I think there was like one guy i'd never heard of who was there I remember I was I don't know was I like seven or eight years yeah, old or I don't even know I was your, very your first young. rug yeah dude I got right yeah exactly it was my first rug it wasn't on Phantom it was here and uh, not not Olympus um, it, it was with the Orlando baseline Magic specialist, baseline specialist Nick Anderson showed up yeah yeah <laughs> let, me, let me yeah I was taller than him probably um, yeah it was awful dude I remember I was doing free throws and crying <laughs> I had like. I was like decked out. I had like bought an official jersey. I was ready to have it signed. I was so ready. I had like a Shaq rookie card that I got at McDonald's. I mean, I was ready and I just got at, and I remember cuz like my mom dropped me off and I was like I have to sit here and wait till she picks me up and I was just so bummed, man. It was my first rug. It changed me. I hit different now. Yeah. yeah. Did I hit different? <sighs> What do you think, Not Should we do a podcast and or what? I'll, I'll be the what straight man. Just, just comedy. Just stories. It's comedy. Not I don't know. Not just talking about need, life. Not because I need Shreddy. He's a one man show. He's yeah, talking he's, about. I need Shreddy. I see. I'm the straight man. If I'm Abbott, he's, he's Cancelo and yeah, vice versa. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much yeah. it. Like a two man band. Yeah, this is what it um, is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we have a, we have another question. We have a couple minutes. We have, sure. we have one. We have one minute, but we have a maybe we could take one last question. Yeah. Um, I got a hop for sure. But um, yeah, oh wait, wait, Agora call tonight, guys. Agora call. Make sure you go on the Agora call tonight. Jason is probably going to be there talking about all the cool shit we're doing. Yeah, and Mark. He can't, he can't help but leak like every. Oh yeah, it's great. Every time Jason gets on, he tells something he's not supposed to. So it's wonderful. Yeah, if it's you your actually, alpha. If you actually want to. Get alpha leaks. Join, join that. Um, uh oh, yeah. Uh oh, launching hand down next week. Anyway, yeah, Jala, what were you saying? There's somebody that wants to come on the stage. Yeah, bring them on. Yeah. I, I I tried inviting. Oh, yeah, the yeah. way. What? Show us the way. The way. I like your profile picture. The way. Like your profile. Uh, it's not letting. It's not letting me do it. Yeah. You know what? I'm not. I'm not seeing any miladies. Uh, in the chat, what is this? They immediately no, banned as soon as no, no people of culture. Come on, <laughs> no miladies. I know Zeus wanted. What did he want? He wanted one of uh, milady. He wanted a uh, what is it Zeus called? Is, Zeus is an anata getting, or something? Yeah, custom anata, so he can yeah, talk, to, yeah, yeah. talk to us as a waifu. Could you, Zeus? Could you also do a voice changer then, so you sound like what you would imagine a milady sounds like? Because that would be very interesting. He said he think <laughs> he's gonna think about it. All right, because like one he, of the guys he, I know he agreed when it was a nada, not like <laughs> not no, no, no. Like, so one of the guys in Jones Dow did a call and he had a voice changer on, and he straight up sounded like T Pain the whole time, and it was amazing. And I think for like <laughs> a, a, an Olympus after dark, Zeus after dark, imagine like you just T Painting over everything. Like imagine like reading the in the the internal bonding white paper that no doubt you're gonna like like do a, a, a like fireside reading of, but in the T Pain voice. Like this could really move Price, I think. And I know you don't like talking about Price, but I feel like that would move Price. I mean, I would buy it. Right? That sounds bad. Yeah. We have, um, we have we we have the way the, here. Show us the way. <laughs> Just talking shit. You know, I figure I gotta get a head start on you guys. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> well, the way is you know Tao or Tao, right? It's like that uh, Taoist stuff. 
my legs are crossed right to now. that. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. So you like but, you like meditate with your legs crossed. It's a thing. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Come on, I man. You, you gotta face like, east. He's like, no, I meditate upside down. What do you no, mean? show feet, not <laughs> I just, I thought, you know, your legs are crossed. You had to pee or something. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. No, 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 no. I, I, I work from home. I just pee in my chair. Anyway. Nice. What do you got, man? Uh, where am I at? California. Yeah. California? Uh, oh, like yeah. Jala. Jala's from California. You can tell yeah, because yeah, yeah. he has a bear and he smokes pot in the, in the picture there. It's like California. Yeah. It's like a West Coast mindset thing. They wake up at like noon and shit. I don't get it. Anyway. Yeah. <sighs> You know, it's a rough life out here. The sun's shining. You must be back east. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Said Florida. Right? Yeah, I know. It's hot as all can be here. It's like ninety. Yeah, my grandma Actually, was, it was hot as yeah. dickens. Yes. Right, so on to uh, some some real stuff here. Um, I've heard you make, make mention a few times of uh, Phantom getting rugged. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm assuming you're talking about uh, that one Dow that took your protocol and used it um no how much no not even, not even it was somebody else yeah, yeah oh else okay. just yes yeah. i won't call phantom. their name out but it was yeah it was something else i mean like phantom is the wild west right i mean you gotta okay. be real careful yeah but yeah tell us about uh rug <laughs> oh man uh yeah i mean well wonderland was was a real shock right like with the uh I'll be honest with being, you. I mean I'm not I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for Olympus here, but like I just want to say like any like any frogs, you're welcome home. Like come home. Yeah, come back. Yeah. Come home. You know? Yeah. I, I got no ill will towards like Wonderland. Like, you know, like there are bad actors yeah, out there. Uh, yeah, but like there are, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. there's like, you know, I don't know, ten thousand people that invested in that thing and like, you know, a lot of them came came from Olympus to go there because they were chasing, you know, number big. But, mm -hmm. you know, the lesson is that you have to have a product and you have to have a, a, a like, a runway for the future. And, you know, we have a crazy idea and maybe it works. Um, but at least we're doing the things that you would do if you believe in an idea and we're building around it. So I still yeah, think that it, it, we're the cleanest shirt in the laundry when it comes to a lot of the treasuries and a lot of the DAOs out there. But sure seems that way. So I'm, I'm yeah. happy to uh, to see that. Um, yeah, I guess I just I wanted to kind of talk about not necessarily specifically Wonderland, but you know, in general, how there have been many different uh, rug pool type situations that have uh, proliferated as a result of of this protocol and. Uh, not really so much that, but how has it affected Olympus? Um, you know, having uh, having been the uh, the creator of this protocol, you know, the founding. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that the main difference is that I think what people didn't realize when they bought Ohm a year ago is what they were buying. They didn't realize yeah. they were buying something that is trying to be the decentralized reserve currency. A lot of people bought it because it was a rebasing token trading at a premium that seemed to only go up and to the right. Yeah. And you, like it was never meant that the APY, like people were treating the APY like it was in terms of dollars. Right. And that it would never go down. And, and that it, well, yeah. I mean, even though it was clearly stated that it was going to go down. Yeah. People say, Oh, stated. Yeah, people, oh, the, the number, you know, and then you had people, you know, 20, 30,000, 80,000, 100,000. Then you had Snowbank, where it was like some ridiculous number. Off the screen. And I think the problem is that people who felt like they missed home tried to chase in a bull market this dream that they could catch the next home. But there's a reason why no one else has tried to do this, or at least that has done it and succeeded or at least gotten this far. And it's because you, at the end of the day, you have to have a, a, a reason for your existence. And if your reason for existence is to grow the treasury and nothing else, I mean, yeah. like, this is why it's so important you do your due diligence. It's why when we had, I don't know if you were here, there was a guy that like, he just, like he bought him a year ago. I don't even know if he staked it, but like he was here and we like told him, you know, Hey, go here. Here's geom. This is what it does. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But, you know, one thing I, I don't know is how, like, do people know what they're investing in? Right. And I think that that's part of marketing's job is to try and change the dynamic of why people are here. I mean, I think the people in the chat have a pretty good idea of why we're here, but you we know, say that's, largely no. yeah, I would I, agree I'm with part that. of, you know, a, a larger community of people and, you know, where, um, Wonderland was doing a great job of, of like, we're a VC firm and we're a VC firm for everybody and rah, 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 you know, but we're not going to fucking put anything out that's yeah. worth a damn. And then we're going to, you know, I heard they're going to yeah. open a McDonald's in Russia now. I heard that's the, um, yeah. probably and they'll, they'll, they'll accept payment in rubles, right? Yeah. yeah. But you know, in all seriousness, I mean, that's kind of why it's, it's so painful to hear about all these people getting rugged because they thought they were buying Olympus, but early. And what it turns out is they were buying somebody's soft rug. You know, yeah. like I'm not going to say, oh, like Spartacus is a rug. Like, no, it's, it's Spartacus isn't a rug, but like, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, they're in a tough spot, right? And, you know, Omi's, like, we're invested in that, like a lot of Omi's. And, uh -huh. you know, they're a friendly protocol. So, like, what did we do? We went to them and said, hey, like, we want to help. Like, we are 3 3. Like, 3 3 means that we're here to help you. We want to be with you guys. Um, you know, come home, right? Like, your Omi's were Omi's. Let's build together. That's the big thing about 3 3 that people don't get. Like, this is not, like, we're trying to make, it that everybody that's on our side is going to win and yeah selling doesn't necessarily mean you're not against us it just means that like you're just not with us and you know that's okay that's a personal decision you have to that's make fine. but like if you're out there and you're struggling and you're aligned with the protocol and what it's trying to do there's a hand out there for you it's the same hand that we saw like go to lobis from redacted it's like the same thing where you know, um, we want to have the ability to tender off or other DAOs that we see can be aligned to us. It's not us trying to make money on it. It's us saying, look, like, if we give you a bunch of ohm, that means that it's inflating supply for other omis. So, like, you know, let's, let's be reasonable here. Um, and I know Jala worked his ass off to try and, you know, make that happen. But, um, you know, it didn't happen, and that's okay. But, um, y you know... I'd rather slowly grow than try and trade at a 5x premium. Um, I think, though, that naturally, if we enter into a bull market again, we're going to start to see premium come back up pretty fast because, you know, look, the price, the price action's been rough. But, <laughs> you know, with that said, this treasury is not going anywhere. And it's only going to keep growing. Um, you know, you talk about rug pulls and Ponzi's and stuff like that. I mean, Olympus doesn't need a dime at this point to, to, to grow. I mean, it's going to grow. It's going to happen. It will continue to gobble up all of these things within DeFi. Nothing is going to stop it. I mean, short of DeFi literally stopping to exist. And even then, there's other things that are in place. So it, it's just... You know, hey Notch, do you want do a job research. in our marketing department, dude? dude. <laughs> no, I really don't. <laughs> oh, that would be, you know, what I'm kind of alluding to is like, where, where is the marketing? You know, I think I heard something about that earlier. Uh, it sounds like, you know, there is uh, a push to to market more, to drive more people to the protocol. Um, but yeah, I guess so what I was right now, what we're to doing. Is like, yeah, so we're like you guys literally Yeah, so right now we're literally building out our TikTok, building out our Instagram, our Twitter. Um, we're building out our presence on Reddit. We're putting videos on YouTube. We're doing all of those things that I would argue should have happened a while ago, but they're happening now. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, we're also doing these community calls. We've done Twitter spaces. Um, but I think also, you know, a lot of the stuff that we, we say, like, it's not like we're building all of these, you know, new features and tools every day for people to use and all of these different, like, Ponzi-nomic things that are happening in all around DeFi where it's like this big circle jerk, right? Like, our mission is, is, is literally one thing. And so everything that's happening, happening around the protocol some of it you might look at and be like well that's not sexy but if you think about it in the in the specter of 
some of the moves that are being made to position the protocol for longevity, um, mm -hmm. these are bullish. But again, the narrative has to change from we are a rebasing token to we are a narrative for the future of DeFi. Like if I'm a DAO, like I'll put it to you this way, like let's say I'm a DAO, right? And I do a raise. Let's say I raise like $50 million. I have an incredibly successful seed round, right? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. have to, I have to build. I have to do all these things. I have to ship products. But guess what else I have to do? I have to put money in the treasury. What am I going to do? Am I going to try and OTC a bunch of CVX? Where, where am I going to get it? Who's going to sell it to me? Am I going to go out and uh, just buy random stuff? Am I just going to put it in there? I've got one more. Uh, what if I just buy a bunch of geom? You know? Um, what if I put everything, everything that I think is worthwhile to have from a governance standpoint in geom? Right? What happens there? I have on-chain governance. I have emissions. I have all of the alignment of the economy. I can go ahead and align with Olympus to bring in the ability to do bonding, right? I can go ahead and bring in the ability to uh, create this whole ecosystem of launching through Incubator Partner Prime DAO. I can go ahead and build out DAO tooling with folks I can't even say that we're literally in the process of incubating right now. I can think about lending through folks like Vesta, who's an incubatee. I can think about lending through Rari, who's one of our partners. Right? I can do all these things by being aligned with Olympus if I'm a DAO. Right? And that's where the power of that governance piece and Geom, the way I see it, is so valuable to the landscape. But that's the education that has to happen. And this is why I think, at the end of the day, this is why we usually don't like to talk about price, because we should talk about education. We want people to understand what they're buying, and then when they understand it and they buy into it, it makes sense. And I think right now you're getting it at a pretty good discount. Yeah, not, and not what I hear it. is with that education, it, it sounds like educating people to understand that the the token has an intrinsic value in DeFi because of uh, the voting power that it has. Not it, it should be moved away probably from the rebases and the passive income kind of generating you know thought process people have about rebasing DAOs and move more towards like well, shit, you know, if this is going to be the reserve currency that finances all of DeFi, it's about the price action. It's about the intrinsic value of the coin as opposed to, oh, it rebases and I can put my money there. Right. It, you know, it's it, the other thing too is it's a little difficult to unpack because it requires a little bit more understanding of the kind of way that DeFi works, which is why I really think that the next phase of expansion here is going to be with DAOs. Yeah. Because if you're a treasury at some point, all of these things that we're talking about, all of these governance power and controls that you get just by aligning with Olympus and its values. Um, and we put out a paper kind of explaining this, the tenants of Ohm. And you can, you can check it out on our, our Medium and we've tweeted about it. Um, the liquidity pillars, all these different things that we go through. Um, you know, these are incredibly difficult and time intensive things to bootstrap if you're, if you're trying to build. Um, DAOs, if all you do is build, how are you supposed to have time and energy to do this? Why would you want to do this? Is it even possible for you to do this when you can literally have a one token solution that allows you to play ball? And I really think that that is kind of the reason why Incubator exists, frankly, is not just to provide utility to OMIs, but to get DAOs to understand this. And I really think this is the next phase of expansion for Olympus is just. Uh, getting other treasuries to just load up on Geome while they can. I've said and, this like in jest, but yeah. like, you no, know, the, it, it's, the, it's not the treasury jest. war. The Geome war is coming <laughs> and I'm not joking we, about that. We, we hope so. And then uh, just seeing some people ask in the chat, like what, what about non DAO crypto projects? I mean, yeah, obviously the, the point um, of Ohm is to become a currency that doesn't have to stay within DeFi um, 
you know, you would be able to use it not only with other, you know, crypto related projects, but use it in real life. You know, yeah. there's already Mover, which, which if you live in Europe or, you know, or other places in the world, not the United States, you can use your own as currency. You know, you can load up a card and go to the store and buy and buy groceries for your family. Um, and, you know, I, I, I also think it goes back. I just wanted to like talk about the marketing a bit um because to hey, me real, real quick before you before you move on on go, that go. when you talk about the, the grocery thing like i was one of the ones who was like i would never spend my gm on groceries i would never want to do this why would i do that mm-hmm. well then everything happened in ukraine and you saw what was going on over there and basically people were you know basically <laughs> using cryptocurrency yeah uh, because they didn't have access to funds and so you know you ask yourself like what what would you do? What would you do? It's like, well, no, I, I have this way that I can still transact in the world, in the economy, because of OM. Uh, it's incredibly powerful to think about. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to, you know, I, I think that's that's a really great point. Um, and uh, again, back to the back to the idea of like, how do you how do you market a currency? It's a really difficult question to unpack and. Um, I think part of it is, is proving utility, um, is, is showing people like, cause you know, I can make an, I can make an ad, I can make a video, uh, which we do and I can write articles, but if the product can perform actions that people can tangibly understand in and relate to their everyday life, um, I think that's more powerful marketing in and of itself. So a lot of what we're focusing on to answer your question about marketing is one, like Notch said, educating people on the best ways to use OM, educating them what on what Olympus's goal is, um, aligning communities, DAOs, uh, you know, to start with, with our goal. Um, and then, yeah, Drew, she reminded me that we can't do paid advertising. Um, Google, Instagram, Meta, whatever, they they will not allow um, crypto projects to do paid advertising, which sucks. But um, so part of it is us becoming so entrenched in every part of DeFi, and and you know being being a part of all of these DAOs treasuries, being a part of of things outside of DeFi, um, and then like eventually it'll be it'll be a no-brainer you'll just be you know you'll just be a base pair for for a bunch of assets and then with with such a liquid treasury that people can't uh ignore the fact that that you're existing as a player in the space so i think when people think about marketing a lot they think about like advertising and pr and those are just like in my mind just different than than what we need to accomplish which is a greater a greater market, basically a larger, more diverse market. Um, I think a lot of things that we're doing now will will help with that, in my opinion. Also, like there's such a short time preference in crypto, right? Like people want now, 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 now. Like yes, we'll see less of that as crypto matures. And right? G- Ginger Brave does let you do paid advertising, but it's like it's like forty thousand dollars per day. Yeah, it's super. We, we looked into it. It's it's ridiculous. We did, we did look into it. Yeah. I know. Wait, why don't we just make a browser? Like that sounds like really good uh, ROI. Uh, Can we do uh, that? Own browser? Yeah. I, I, okay. Yeah, we'll charge we'll charge 35. We'll give them a break. But you have to pay an own. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a couple couple other real quick questions. Um it. what was the uh was staking Geom on token NAC? Oh yeah, there's plenty of places to like yeah. you know, play with your your Geom and earn yield, right? I mean you can LP it. Right, liquidity wow. provider. I mean, if you want to stay on mainnet, you can do that there. You can go to Tokamak, which is, um, I think, I think we we even do it with some of our ETH. I think um, that's T O K E N M A K. T O K E M A K. Definitely do your own research. You know, yeah, make sure yeah. it's right for you. Uh-huh. But um, there's sure. that. I mean, we've got folks that have come on and spoken to us about um, LPs over on Phantom. You know, from reputable folks like you know Spirit Swap and beats uh-huh. and um you know we have avalanche we got trader joe over there um so there's plenty of places that you can go off chain if you want to avoid gas um and get some extra yield on your geom like i was never a rari guy i know a lot of people 
would always talk about nine nining and how great it was. But like, I never did that. I just I came from a world where leverage was not a good idea, and I always farmed. And I just you know worked out for me, and it didn't work out for a lot of other omies. But you have to be responsible with whatever you do and do your own research. You know, don't get greedy. Yeah, uh, but yeah, definitely where, check them out. Where is the deepest current deepest uh, liquidity pool? Is it on AVAX? I mean, uh, technically, the deepest liquidity is like the Ohm die pair, I believe. Yeah, on uh, on, on, if, on mainnet. But yeah, what's trader, sorry, what's mainnet? Uh, uh, Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But it's but Avalanche, so expensive. Yeah, Avalanche yeah. Trader Joe has a pretty deep pool, so that would be the same. Yeah, I mean, depending on how much you want to put in, you know, you could size your trade. I, I would say this, you know, without talking numbers, this is again where we talk about community. You know, talk to the Sherpas; yeah. they might. And be able to give you some like ideas of where you could possibly go. We did an education series. I don't know if it's record. I think it's recorded uh, where we had some folks on who have like some pretty interesting farming options for own. Mm -hmm. And uh, based on, you know, that education call, they, I basically just let them talk their book for 30 minutes of all different folks telling you why you should come over and help you with them. And uh, yeah, there's definitely different options out there, but you know, if you're gas hesitant, uh, like I am, you know, you can take a look at a number of protocols. You can even do some cool stuff. You can go on Arbitrum and check out Jones Dow. They do kind of like some managed strategies to try and prevent downside. And then while you're there, you can LP some of it with your regular geome because you're only supposed to ha put half in the vault and then the other half you LP. Yeah. So there's some cool stuff you can do cross chain. I mean, it's also a great experience to go across chains and see like what all other protocols are are doing. And the fact that you could still interact with Geome cross chain is pretty unique. You don't really see that outside of like Ethereum. Um, so it's pretty unique and something that's pretty special. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you guys for your time. I, I appreciate the, uh, the banter and uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming on, man. Easy to Great talk questions. to you. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Likewise. Have a good day. Absolutely. In the middle of my rant, Zeus pinged me and said education. And I said, and I, I basically had pivoted completely to education. So I guess he was like, yeah. he was like, he, stop saying the word Ponzi. No, oh, he must have like zapped me with a lightning bolt or something. Cause like I look over and I see that he's basically telling me to pivot how I've already pivoted. So yeah. that's good. Um, um, so what do you, what do you think, Notch? I think we're, we've done good justice for the day. We did the um, Lord's work. We did, really do. We you know, like Joe Goldman was, Sachs, we've done the Lord's work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think we call it, um, but we'll be around, uh, you know, always ask questions to your Sherpas. Go ahead and join general yes. topic. Send your, there. send your Sherpas like, like flowers or something. Yeah, Find a hard. Sherpa and send them a gift. They work hard. Hey, um, just real quick, everybody call your mom for no reason. Tell your mom you love them. Yeah. Oh, no reason. Just say hi, mom. I yeah, miss you. So wholesome right at that. Yeah, do it, man. Right. Listen, every now and then you got to do it. <laughs> I always forget. I saw this thing. It's, all right, I'll close with it. I'll shut up after this, I promise. I saw this thing where this guy had a, a sign and he was standing in front of a college and the college sign, right? And it was, um, I'll give you $20 if you call your mom and tell her you love her. Mm -hmm. And like everybody that went up and called their mom after they hung up, they're like, no, nah, you keep the money or give it to somebody else. Like, and the phone calls were hilarious because the moms were like, what did you do? What's wrong? What did are you, you do? What's are wrong? you in jail? <laughs> are you, you really? One of them was like, are you in jail? Do you... Like, yeah. <laughs> like the call your moms, tell them you love them. Call your mom, yeah. Even if you don't, uh, say you do. I will call my mom right after this. Right after this, that's it. Um, yeah, she deserves it. Uh, all right. See you soon. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably talk to you like ten more times between now oh, and tomorrow. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably talking to you very shortly. But I, I appreciate everybody for coming out. Um. This is a legendary section. I hope that we, <laughs> I hope that we got a recording of this. I'm gonna yeah. call your dad. Someone too. said call Notch's mom. Like bro, bro, <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> My mom alone. She's got to deal with me. Are you kidding me? You think she wants more problems? <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, tune into Agora Spaces tonight. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. I think I was I was gonna use this as a warm up for Spaces, but. I guess I, I guess I'm like spent. Gosh, I'm you're not going on spaces tonight. Come on, uh, spaces is not the same without Shreddy. I'll go on spaces. Yeah, go on spaces. I've got to have a beer. So, oh uh, yeah, I have, to, I'll have good. to take care of that. All right, all right, everybody. Uh, I'm going to shut it down now. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we will see you next week, same time, same place. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.